Hi everyone and welcome to today's Pick a Group reading. As you can see, we have five different groups to choose from today. It's not just a regular Pick a Group reading. We have a Pick a Card option as well as a Pick a Crystal option. And I did try to choose crystals that look as similar to the crystals, excuse me, that look as similar to the crystals on the cards as possible, but they're not quite perfect matches. So we'll get into that soon. First, I just want to thank you all for being here, whether you're new or returning, welcome everybody. It is my intention to give you as much clarity, maybe confirmation, um, and as much information in general that is helpful towards your journey. The topic we're asking spirit today is do they feel the same way? Now I have a little list here of things that I want to cover in today's reading. The readings are going to be short and sweet. That's why I'm able to do so many groups. I don't usually have the capacity to film this many groups, but my goal is to just deliver short and sweet messages so that we can offer information that is clear to each group while also offering an extended of additional information that is clear. So here on YouTube, we're going to be asking spirit, does the person on your mind feel the same way as you? We're going to first have a look at your feelings about this person, and then we're going to have a look at your person's feelings about you, and we're going to get advice. If that all resonates and you would like to extend your reading, the extended reading will be focusing on what is happening next. In this connection, we're going to have a look at your next actions, at their next actions, and at the future of the connection based on the energy that you both have presently. So that's what we're covering. The extended reading is on my website. The link will be in the description box and the pinned comment, but I'll talk more about that in your individual readings. Let me introduce the groups to you now. Starting with group one over here. Group one, y'all have the Lapis Lazuli card from the Gem Oracle card deck. You may find yourself being drawn to this group. If the number's 28, the planet Mercury, the chakra Vishuddha, which is your fifth chakra, or this beautiful stretch of a yoga pose are signs that you feel drawn to. If you feel drawn to any of those symbols, references, or um, things that I've listed, I guess, then you'll be a part of group one's reading. The Lapis Lazuli card is also linked to the water element in this deck. And the crystal I've chosen is this heart-shaped sodalite crystal. It is a very pigmented sodalite crystal, so I had to double check, make sure that it was actually sodalite. And I do think it is because there's no pyrite pigmentations on this. So if you feel drawn towards the sodalite heart or the lapis lazuli card, you'll be a part of group one's reading. Group two, you have the hematite card. So if you feel drawn towards hematite as a crystal, the number six, the planet Saturn, the root chakra, Muladhara, or this stretch of a yoga pose, as well as maybe the element of earth, then you will be a part of group two's reading. And the crystal that I chose for group two, I don't have any hematite anymore, but I do have this very dark labradorite crystal. So it is one of the darkest labradorite crystals I have. I had to double check and make sure it was labradorite. Um, it is still technically more of the labradorite's energy, but the color, the intensity is definitely similar to hematite. So if you feel drawn to this crystal or this card, you'll be a part of group two's reading. Group three, you have the chrysoprase card. So if you feel drawn towards the crystal chrysoprase, the number 20, Pisces as a zodiac sign, the crown chakra, Sahasrara, or this yoga pose, or maybe the water element, you'll be a part of group three's reading. And the crystal that I have for group three is this faded, I believe it's a jade crystal, but it actually looks very similar to a polished version, version of chrysoprase so i've been calling this jade but if you can see anything that you think it's more suited to please correct me in the comments below if you feel drawn to this crystal or this card 
you will be a part of group three's reading. Group four, you have the natural agate card. So if you feel drawn towards natural agate as a crystal, the earth element, the heart chakra, which is anahata, this yoga pose, the number two, or Venus as a planet, then this will be your group. Group four, you also have this smoky quartz crystal, which I'm pretty sure is actually just glass, but it looks because of the way that it's chipped over here, but it looks so similar to natural agate. So I chose to pair them together. If you feel drawn towards this beautiful gem, whatever it is, or this natural agate card, then this will be your group, your group four. Last but not least, we have our group number fives. So group fives, I chose the rock crystal card for you. So if you feel drawn towards the rock crystal as a gem, the number 15, Gemini, our throat chakra, Vishuddha, or this yoga pose, or the element of air, then you will be a part of group five's reading. And of course you had to get the rock crystal, which is clear quartz with your group. So if you feel drawn towards this group or this card, sorry, this crystal or this card, you'll be a part of group five's reading. Pause the video now if you need more time selecting a group. Sweet souls, I will be offering my one minute meditation, which will play after this clip. If you need more help, in um, selecting a group. That one minute meditation is guided to connect you to your intuition so that you can intuitively select a group that you feel most drawn to. When you know where to go, as always, click on your timestamps in the description box or the pinned comment and join me in your reading. So the first thing I want you to do with me is to take in two deep mindful breaths. Breathe in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, and in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. Now I want you to focus on clearing your mind. It's natural to have thoughts racing at this point. I want you to embrace each thought as it comes and let it slip as quickly as it came in. Focus on clearing and balancing out these thoughts so that they come and go without a desire to be attached to them. And now, with a rested mind, I want you to think of the first group that comes to your mind. It may be a number, it may be an object that I showed you, it could be a specific color, could be a feeling that you felt when I showed you each of the groups today. When you are ready and when you feel confident, select your group and join me in your reading. Hi my group ones and welcome to your reading. We're asking spirit today, does the person on your mind feel the same way? If you chose this lapis lazuli card or this sodalite heart here, then this is going to be your reading. Now, sweet souls, I kind of tricked you a little bit. This crystal and this card is going to tell us more about how the person um, how you feel about the person on your mind. And then we're going to ask spirit about how they feel about you. So the first thing that's coming through with Lapis Lazuli is I feel like you really enjoy this person's energy. I feel like you feel as though there's already maybe a strong interest, a strong friendship between you and this person. This energy is talking about communication and emotion being used as a tool to strengthen your connection. So there could be a turning point that has occurred recently in this connection, which offers the two of you a chance to deepen the connection through mutual interactions and by actually getting to know each other a little bit more. It feels like you and this person are either recently have just met or you've had a recent turn of events where the connection seems to be gaining momentum. When this card talks about your feeling, it does talk about you 
spearheading conversations or opportunities to move this connection forward. You guys may have questions on your mind that you really want to ask this person that could be about something that they said to you recently or something that you are planning to do with them in the near future. One thing that I forgot to mention is that the asana on this card is called the warrior pose and I'm personally very much a novice when it comes to yoga um, so I did have to double check with the guidebook and the main benefits behind this beautiful asana is to stretch and reinforce your shoulders your arms and your back muscles the creator of this beautiful deck says that this um, crystal has a very calming um, energy to it and it can help control your stronger emotions like anger so that you can kind of understand how you're actually feeling beneath those strong emotions. So I do think that there is an energy here of wanting to have a heart to heart conversation with this person about some strong emotions that you may have experienced recently. With that card in the middle, let's have a look at your feelings now. Spirit, how are my group ones feeling about the person on their mind? How does my viewer feel about the person on their mind, Spirit? Okay. Got a few cards. We have the Eight of Swords coming out first. We have the Eight of Cups, and at the back of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Hopefully we can fit this all in. Let's see. Okay, let's have a look at your person now. Hopefully we can fit their cards in. Group one, please, Spirit, what are their person's feelings? What are their person's feelings for them? We have the two of ones reversed. We have the moon child card coming out reversed and they want me to take the four of swords as well. At the back of this deck is the four of wands. So running out of space. Let's do that. That's a lot better. All right. So here's the thing, sweet souls. When we have a look at your feelings over here, accompanied with the lapis lazuli, it's clear that you guys need to talk about how you're feeling with this person because you're not feeling satisfied. The two eights are indicating a cycle in which the energy in this connection feels trapped. Instead of being able to ascend to the next level like a nine card would offer, you're feeling trapped. You're feeling emotionally and mentally trapped. So this could be because of those questions that I mentioned with the lapis lazuli. There could be specific things weighing on your mind that you really want to talk to this person about. Or it could also be an indication of the lack of communication. Um, you guys seem to feel trapped in your own mind and there seems to be a lot of fear dictating your actions right now and to be honest there's not a lot of action being taken with this eight of swords this card talks about our mind being a maze of intrusive thoughts and us having a hard time understanding what's real and what isn't and then with our eight of cups here we can see the footprints in the sand and i don't know if you can kind of tell but accompanying the traditional meaning of this card, these footprints are facing forward, our gaze is looking back, indicating that we're looking at what we're leaving behind. You guys feel like a cycle needs to end in this connection in order for you to truly embrace your fulfillment and to step closer towards what is going to be emotionally satisfying for you. Your feelings are that this connection is not in your best interest you feel limited by the actions you can take. You also feel like there's certain things you shouldn't do because you're a victim of this person's choices. This person in your heart, in your mind, has chosen to do things that have put you in this very stagnant place. 
So with the Nine of Wands being the back of the deck energy, it feels like overall your feelings are that this is a connection that has truly tested your patience, your perseverance, your energy. And you're probably at a point now where you've really just got to reevaluate, well, what am I doing here? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? There is a foundation of a friendship here. And I feel like you're not ready to give up completely, but you are at burnout with the nine of wands. What comes next is a feeling of failure and burnout because you've exhausted all your options by taking on too much responsibility. So it does feel like you don't want to feel like a fool. You don't want to feel like the only person who's trying. And you also don't want to feel like the only person who's thinking of solutions. But overall, with the nine of wands being here, you are open to solutions. You just don't want to feel like the only person who's open to solutions. Now, when we have a look at your person's feelings, there's a lot of complexity over here. I'm not going to lie. Yours is actually a little bit more straightforward. You know, two eights plus a nine, you're looking for progression. You're feeling trapped, but you're looking for progression. I think your person doesn't know what they want, my sweet souls. I don't think they know what they're looking for. We have these cards that indicate stability and they're all reversed. I believe that your person is very confused, group ones. Their bottom deck energy was the four of ones reversed. This person feels as though this connection has really forced them out of a comfort zone. I do get this energy of excitement, but I feel like they're more excited about their life and how this connection can fit into aspects of their life. This person may have a lot going on in their lifestyle um, because these fours do indicate somebody as well as the two of wands who is having to be very short term with their plans. So this person may have a lot of things up in the air. They may lead a transient lifestyle in which they're traveling a lot. There's a lot of short term travel. It kind of feels like this person doesn't really know where they're going to be in the next four weeks. So when they think of this connection, they think of the ways that you excite each other and the ways that you kind of bring in this encouragement to expand for this person. But they also think about the ways in which they need to keep their options open when it comes to flexibility and ambition. This person comes across as somebody who's currently working towards a long-term goal and there are short-term actions that they need to be more available to. So this person's energy seems to be invested in other areas of their life that require their immediate attention. It doesn't mean that they don't care, but I think with the moon child card reversed, they are being very secretive about this. They don't want to involve you in this process and they also don't want to um, lead you on because this feels like a very personal journey all of these cards really make this person feel like they're on a personal journey the only card that really highlights that they are caring towards this connection is the four of wands and with that energy reversed it does feel like they're just trying to kind of keep you in limbo until they know more so this person may have been open to the idea of communication and exploring the emotional aspect of this connection by meeting with you and having these heartfelt conversations, but they may not have set a date yet. They may have said, yeah, I'd love to do that, but they may not have said when. And I think that's because they really don't know group one. And this person's feelings are that they should not put anything in concrete here until they know more about this other thing that they're currently interested in, which could be a distance thing as well. It could be that they haven't bought their plane ticket yet, or they don't know when they're coming home, or they don't know when they're going to go on holidays, or they don't know when. It's just a big question mark around when. So I do think with Moon Child Reverse, they are trying to, although they feel confused, and there's this energy here of keeping you separate from this other stuff, almost like they're keeping secrets. It also feels like they are doing this because they don't want to lead you on. They don't want to make this any more confusing than it has to be. I do think that they're very good at deflecting and avoiding um, certain conversations um, or just trying to emphasize other topics so that they can avoid that elephant in the room as well. 
So that's really what I'm seeing when it comes to feelings. Let's get some advice now. Spirit, what would group one's spiritual team like them to know? What is group one's advice when it comes to this connection, spirit? What is group one's advice when it comes to this connection? I'm just going to get a card from this deck. And we'll get tarot as well. So your advice is the waxing gibbous moon. What is their person's advice, spirit? Aquarius. And the back of the deck, we have Eros. All right. Spirit, what would group one spiritual team say to them in terms of advice? Group one's spiritual team. What advice does group one spiritual team have, spirit? We have the queen of pentacles. And what advice does their person spiritual team have for them? The Nine of Cups. So you are both being called to stay emotionally open to what is best for you. You should not put your emotional needs on hold for this connection. It's very important that you seek fulfillment outside of this connection, whether this is a friendship, a romantic connection, a platonic connection of any nature. It's very important that you embrace the opportunities for what they are, but that you don't put those big decisions on hold for this connection. It feels like this is something that should be happening in terms of your connection to this person in tandem with other opportunities. So between the two of you with Eros here, I do feel like the two of you are still fostering a sweet sort of passionate affair together where it feels like regardless of whether this is romantic or not you do have some really wholesome and exciting moments where there's a lot of chemistry between you the shared interests or the genuine desire to see each other is what fuels this connection currently you two both create moments of time throughout whatever else you've got going on to be able to come together and share that affection that chemistry you and this person do have a natural chemistry i think with the death card reverse spirit saying take it slowly if this is a newer person in your life or somebody who you haven't seen in a while take it slowly you don't need to rush through this process do what feels right even if you can't really explain why it feels right and if you need to make changes at the last minute if you decide you're uncomfortable with how fast things are going or with when the next opportunity to interact is, then say something, do something. Don't pretend like this is making you happy if it isn't. So over here, your spiritual team's advice is to see this as an opportunity that's still unfolding. It feels like with Waxing Gibbous Moon and Queen of Pentacles, do not put all your eggs in one basket until it proves to be something that's worthy of your full attention, your full devotion, your full resources. You are somebody who's coming across as fairly secure, abundant, and resourceful. So you should see that as something that you share with others sparingly. Your spiritual team is really encouraging you to be slow here and to kind of make sure that this connection is checking off the, the boxes that it needs to in order to be sustainable in your life. And if it isn't, don't put all your eggs in one basket. There is still a lot of potential here for you, but I think you need to slow down the expectations of how this is coming together. There's this energy here of slow and steady wins the race. If this is someone who's supposed to be in your life for a long time, give them time to show you that. And I do think that the two of you are in this phase of your connection, trying to bring in more stability, more longevity. So there is this slower approach and your spiritual team is encouraging you to adjust your expectations to match that slower approach as well. Your person's spiritual team is encouraging them to do what feels um, right in their heart. I feel like this person has a lot of decisions to make. So... They're being guided to make time for what gives them joy and what makes them feel good, which I do believe is this connection. 
This person may have also recently struggled to connect and really open up to you. So their spiritual team is encouraging that they take time to kind of peel back the layers and make effort to keep contact with you. I feel like this Aquarius energy is about communication online more than anything and making sure that the two of you are having conversations regularly so that you can better understand each other and be on the same page. But their spiritual team is putting them in this independent mode where they need to do what is in their best interest at all times. And if that means limiting contact because their mental health needs a break, then that's what it means. So try not to take that too personally, group one. The point of this advice section is to really help you understand what is in your person's best interest. And their spiritual team is telling them that they really need to start looking after themselves. This person's social um, circle may be very small. They could have a lot of people around them with Aquarius here. They're probably very likable. They're probably somebody that a lot of people seek. Um, but they, they are a bit of a loner. They don't want everybody around them all the time. They come across as somebody that likes to be alone. They like working alone. They like taking their independence and um, they also like to feel like they're in control to a certain extent. So I do think that their spiritual team is encouraging them to use whatever time alone they can to understand their heart space better and to understand how they can fulfill their emotional needs on top of all of these important decisions that they have to make. So that's what I'm seeing for you, group one. I'm going to end your YouTube reading here. And we're going to go into the extended now where we will have a look at what is happening next between the two of you. So we're going to have a look at your next actions, your person's next actions, and then the future of this connection based on your current energy. If the first part of your reading did resonate and you want to extend your reading with me, the link to your extended reading is in the description box and the pinned comment. You can purchase your extended reading from my website. Please make sure you select the right group, your group one of the Do They Feel the Same Way reading that I posted in May 2024. So double check, triple check before you spend any money that you have selected the right reading, please. Thank you for all your time, your energy and your support right here on YouTube group one. If this is where we're parting ways, I wish you peace, prosperity, abundance, happiness, health, wealth, success and joy on your journey ahead until we meet again. Bye. Choose and welcome to your reading. If you chose the hematite crystal with this very dark labradorite crystal, then this is going to be your reading. We're asking spirit, does the person on your mind feel the same way? Here's everything that we'll be covering in today's reading. These are the groups to help me keep track. So don't even worry about that. Um, as you can see, there will be an extended reading for today's YouTube reading. We'll talk more about that at the end. If the first part of your reading resonates and you want to extend your reading with me, the link to your extended reading will be in the description box and the pinned comment as well. Let's have a look at this. So my group twos, this card is no coincidence. This card was pulled specifically while asking spirit what your feelings for the person on your mind is. And the fact that we got Labradorite with Hematite, sweet soul, let me tell you, the way that you are currently feeling about this person is that you feel a pull, but you also feel a natural instinct to protect yourself. While there is an energetic tie to this person, there is also a deeper, more obvious tie to put yourself first, to look after yourself and to protect yourself against their energy. So that tells me that at times this person is either unpredictable and their way of acting or reacting is kind of putting you on guard. Or it also means that this connection is not giving you enough answers right now. And so you're having to seek answers from a more spiritual source. You guys may be doing a lot of divinating about this person, or you may just be asking your ancestors, your angels, for obvious signs on what to do next in this connection. Hematite is a crystal that we would use to help ground ourselves, to protect ourselves. 
Um, the energy on this card is talking about doing things from a place of stability. With Muladhara here, there is a feeling of a new beginning happening. Your feelings for this person are that you do need to first and foremost take care of yourself while also pay attention to obvious signs of how karma is intervening in this connection. Some of you guys may feel like this person is currently going through a lot and that this connection has a lot of weight on it. And so you're trying to be very careful. You're trying to make sure with the number six that you are reciprocal, that you don't do more than what is essential. And you're also trying to make sure that this person's efforts or actions don't negatively impact you. This asana pose down here is called child's pose. I think a lot of us are familiar with child's pose. Even if you're not a yogi, I'm very much a novice when it comes to yoga. But the strengths or benefits of this pose is that it can strengthen your thighs and your ankles and it's supposed to alleviate stress. So often <laughs> I've experienced that pose at like the end of an intense workout when they ask you to get into child pose to help kind of alleviate tension in your upper body. Now, according to the guidebook, the message behind this card is that it's a time in our lives where we have an extreme need for order and cleanliness. This need comes from our inner self, but reflects the external as well and involves our daily life. We appear serious and trustworthy because that is the way we feel. This is not a moment for frivolity and superficiality. So I do feel like you are feeling like this connection is one that is probably more serious. There could be a professional undertone here with Saturn. Saturn can sometimes be talking about an authority figure or someone who has like more of like an authority, authoritative presence. Um, you guys may feel like you're somewhat responsible for this person or this person has um, a higher sort of superiority to you. There it does seem to be some sort of energy here of restriction and boundaries as well when it comes to your feelings. Let's get some tarot out here to have a deeper dive into the energies. Spirit, what are group two's feelings about the person on their mind? What are group two's feelings? We have the chariot reversed. They're also showing me the six of wands reversed. And at the back of the deck is the page of swords, which you can't see. So let me zoom out a little bit. Let's have a look at your person now. I actually want to get this deck while we still have lighting. Spirit, how does group two's person feel about them? How does group two's person feel about them please spirit group two's person okay got a few cards i'm going to take the three of cups reversed we have the knight of crystals reversed they also want me to take this card so we'll do it knight of cups eight of crystals at the back of the deck is the page of wands okay so there's a lot of energy to dissect from this person's side here's the thing you're coming through as a little bit more straightforward. So you guys may have made an important decision about this connection and you're standing by your choices. There is a sort of feeling here of stubbornness, but I think you're doing it to protect yourself. You're standing by your choices. You're paying attention to the fact that this connection is risky. An element of this connection needs to be strict from your side because parts of this person's behavior can be unpredictable and they are coming through as a very passionate person. So I think that you're trying to be a little bit more careful about your feelings. You're trying to be a little bit more rational and you're also trying to be a little bit more in control. So you're coming across as somebody who feels like this connection isn't really serving um, a helpful purpose. You guys may be trying to rationalize this connection or this person. It almost feels like you're not allowing yourself to see it as anything more than what it is, 
even though there is a stirring here of some sort of undercurrent between you and this person, you seem to want to just sort of keep things simple, keep things on the surface. You don't want to delve too deep. You don't want to get lost in a fantasy with this person. I do think with the six of wands reverse, there is a feeling here of privacy. You guys may be trying to keep your feelings private, or you may be trying to keep this connection private. There is almost this awareness of how this person boosts your ego. You enjoy their attention, but you feel guilty afterwards. Some of you guys feel really guilty about feeling good about this connection and this person. Now, for some of y'all, this could be because you're in a different connection as well. You could be between people, um, whether this is a platonic connection or a romantic connection, you almost feel like you're betraying your heart to when you feel good about this person. So other people could be in your ears a little bit, kind of telling you like this is wrong or you shouldn't be like this. You guys overall, though, are really trying to make sure that you don't do anything silly, foolish, naive. Um, you don't want to come across as reckless and immature. With the Page of Swords reversed at the back of the deck, there's this overall feeling on your side of someone who's trying to be um, very careful, very logical. Um, you don't want to let curiosity kill the cat on your end. That's what it feels like. And that really does make sense with the Saturn energy as well. I do think that for the most part, you guys are just trying to protect yourself and potentially somebody else from a mistake that could happen between you and this person. Um, so that's what I'm seeing on your end. On your person's end, they are feeling like this connection is at a, a standstill. And honestly, like the way that this standstill feels is frustrating. Your person is definitely interested in you. I think that your person has a crush on you with this page of wands. Um, whether this is a romantic connection or not, there is this feeling of this person enjoying interactions with you. They have feelings for you. They enjoy the chemistry. Okay. And this is somebody who feels like they have to do something bold. Um, they have a lot of fun getting little reactions out of you. Uh, it feels like this person may tease you every now and then, or they may do things to kind of keep the energy between you really competitive. Um, I feel like this person likes to use humor as a way of like getting you to soften up around them. If there is a romantic interest here, I feel like this person is actively pursuing you, group two. If this is a platonic connection, I still feel like this person has feelings for you. I still feel like this person really sees you as something more than a friend. Um, this is definitely an in-depth reading in that I have five different groups. So I am seeing a connection here of somebody that wants something more than just friendship with you. And with these two crystals cards reversed, they are in their head a little bit about how to make this work with you. How can I pull that off with my group twos? Eight of swords reversed, trying not to play the victim, trying to liberate themselves and this is them feeling like um, they have a chance here to do something that could get themselves out of a dark place with you. With this Knight of Crystals, they do feel like they can't rush this. There is an awareness of the circumstances that you're in and the fact that, you know, one wrong move and they're out of here. I'm hearing strike, you're out. So this person may have already struck out on you before. Um, I don't know if y'all are familiar with baseball. I've never played baseball. I've only seen it in movies. But I do know that if you get three strikes as a batter, you're out. So I feel like this person's already got like one or two strikes with you. So they can't afford to kind of be foolish or impulsive. They've got to be a little bit more chivalrous and careful. And that's why we have the Knight of Cups here. We have somebody whose feelings are developing and they're trying to take a sort of more slow potentially shy approach towards you, just sort of waiting to see how things work out with you. I do think that overall, this person is very interested in you though, sweet souls. Like it's giving this feeling of like somebody that's following you around, you know, like a little bit of a puppy dog, um, seeking out your energy and giving you a lot of attention. And I think that's why you have a bit of guilt because you have, you enjoy their attention too, but I don't think you reciprocate the feelings 
to the extent that they do they're a little bit like a puppy dog here deer in headlights and you're just like mm, you're driving the car like oh, i didn't mean to for this to happen so it feels a little bit uncomfortable i guess that's why we have hematite here let's get some advice now for you each spirit what advice do you have for my viewer what advice do you have for my viewer spirit Okay, we have the Eight of Swords. And Spirit's giving us the Ace of Swords. What is What advice would you give to this person, Spirit? What advice would you give to this person? We have the Six of Cups reversed and the... <laughs> I was about to say the Knight, the Knight of Swords. Oh, oops, sorry. I've got some cards on the ground. I'm just trying to pick them up. Okay, a lot of cards on the ground. The world card, the star card, nine of pentacles at the back of the deck. So here's the thing. The advice that spirit and your spiritual team have for you is to really, 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 really think about things with this eight of swords. This eight of swords is as advice about really paying attention to the warning signs, the limitations, the do not cross tape, the whatever you do, do not enter this premises. It's on private property sign. Like spirit is saying, if you're feeling trapped, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like, I don't know what to do, pay attention to that. <laughs> The red tape is there for a reason, my group twos. Your advice is to see the red flags for what they are. They are there to hold you back for a reason. And like in this deck, the eight of swords is not only showing a rose that's being blocked off by eight swords. It's also showing a rose with all of these thorns. So even if this person could get through those eight swords chances are they would hurt themselves by picking the rose anyway. This is a situation that is probably not in your best interest. You eventually need to find ways to communicate that with the Ace of Swords. Your only advice once you understand the boundaries and limitations as a form of protection is to find a healthy way to communicate that so that you are putting out the right message and so that you are doing what you can within the realm of your control to protect yourself from this situation. I do think with this nine of pentacles between you, spirit is highlighting the fact that this connection is not beneficial to either of you. It's very self-serving in, di in different ways. In your way, there is this feeling of this connection is not what you want. It's not what you need. It's not adding to your journey and it's not going to be helpful to your lifestyle. On this person's side, this connection feels like it's something they've become codependent of. It feels like something that they've become dependent upon for very specific reasons, not actually reasons that are beneficial to you, reasons that are more beneficial to them. So spirit's advice to them is to slow down and pay attention to why things haven't worked out up until this moment. With the Knight of Swords reversed, there's this feeling of this person has been delayed on purpose, but they haven't been paying attention to that. They've been looking for solutions and they've also been trying to do the same thing again and again and again and again. With the Six of Cups reversed, Spirit's advice to this person would be to embrace it for what it was, but recognize it as something that could never be. There is this feeling of this connection existing in the past. You and this person may have had fond moments in the past, fond memories, but this person needs to accept that bygones are bygones. With the Six of Cups reversed, there is a feeling of this connection being a big part of this person's past, but I really don't see much of a future here, at least not a future that is beneficial to either of you. So that's what I'm seeing in terms of do they feel the same way as you? I'm going to take this into the extended reading now group two, where I'll have a look at what is happening next in this connection. 
We're going to break that down by having a look at what your next actions will be, what this person's next actions will be, and we're going to have a look at the future of the connection as well. If you would like to extend your reading and claim those additional messages, the link to your extended reading is in the description box and the pinned comment. By purchasing your extended reading, you will have access to this for either a 72 hour period or you can buy it and download it as well. Um, there's two options there. So please make sure you click on the right reading, the right group. Remember your group two of the Do They Feel the Same Way reading that I posted in May 2024. Thank you so much for all your time, group two. I hope this was helpful. If you have another person in mind, feel free to navigate through the timestamps and click on your other group. If this is where you are leaving us, thank you so much for all your time, your energy and your support right here on YouTube in this reading. I wish you peace, prosperity, abundance, happiness, health, wealth, success and joy on your journey again. Or I should say again. I feel like I've met you before. Um, but anyway, until we meet again. Bye. group threes and welcome to your reading if you chose this chrysoprase card or this beautiful jade crystal then this is going to be your reading welcome sweet souls we are asking spirit today does the person on your mind feel the same way about you so we're going to analyze this by having a look at how you feel and then we're going to have a look at your person's feelings and we're going to close with advice before i go into the extended reading so if the youtube reading resonates and you want to extend your reading the link to your extended will be in the description box um, and the pinned comment as well with that out of the way let me put this to the side and let's get into it so this card is not a coincidence sweet souls i got this card on purpose this card is telling us more about your feelings in this situation so with the chrysoprase crystal here I can see that you guys are feeling like this person is in your life for some sort of divine reason. You may resonate as somebody who is more spiritual and who is currently seeking deeper meaning when it comes to the people in your life and specifically this connection. I do think with the Pisces energy being here, you may feel a very strong emotional attachment to this person that exceeds feelings. It could feel incredibly spiritual at times or divinely guided. Um, there may also be a tendency to feel obsessive about this connection as though they are everywhere, no matter where you turn, this person's energy is everywhere or it's thoughts and signs of them seem to be everywhere. I think with the crown chakra here, you're also being shown a lot of signs about this person too, that you don't just witness by yourself. You could also be saying to friends and family, like, did you just see that? What the heck? That's the fifth time today. What does it mean? I do think that your feelings about this person is that this connection was put into your life to steer you into a new beginning. It may feel like things had to fall apart in order for this new beginning to happen. I also think that you feel as though this connection is almost out of your hands in some aspect, as though there's a lot of things that you can't control and that you're kind of just here for the ride to sort of see what happens and how it works out. I do think with Christ Praise being here, there is an energy here of appreciation because what, regardless of how well you know this person or how long they've been in your life, their impact does seem to be very profound. So I'm just going to double check the guidebook to see if there's anything that I've missed. The asana on this card down here is known as the corpse pose. Now I'm not an experienced yogi, I'm very much a novice, but this pose is about calming the mind and combating stress and depression. So the mindfulness associated with this pro, um, pose is about centering your thoughts into um, or grounding your thoughts into your physical vessel and trying to understand your emotional being in that moment as well. So the idea behind this card when it comes to meditation is about asking ourselves what makes us nervous or agitated? Do we act impulsively? Are we aware of the results of our actions? 
The idea behind this card from the creator was to remind us to not be overwhelmed by our emotions. So this Chrysoprase crystal is said to be able to combat fears and obsessions. So you guys may feel at times like this connection is really taking over aspects of your life. Now that's what the card is telling us, but let's get more information. I'm going to lower this blind a little bit more to hopefully bring a more stable lighting and let's get some tarot out now. Spirit, starting with group three, my viewer. How does group three, my viewer, feel about the person on their mind? How does group three, my viewer, feel about the person on their mind? We have the lover's card. Oops, okay. They're showing me the Ace of Wands. A lot of cards wanting to come out, so I feel like we're just going to be paraphrasing feelings. I don't think we're capturing the depth of how you feel in today's reading, but I'll do my best. We have the Death card coming out. Oops. There we go. Having trouble with this new stand. And it's still new. Concerning. All right. Let's lift that. Let's straighten that. Okay. So the death card's at the back of the deck. Let's have a look at your person's feelings now. My group threes, please, spirit. Group three. How does group three's person currently feel about them? How does group three's person... All right, the first card coming out for them is the Eight of Pentacles reversed. How does Group 3's person feel about them, Spirit? We also have the Chariot reversed. And at the back of the deck is the Four of Swords reversed. I am getting more of a reserved energy from this person. <laughs> like just the way that the cards came out was very reserved um let alone what ensued with what the cards actually were so there is a difference here in energy for sure on your side of things there is passion there is um a feeling of your hopes and your realities not aligning always but there is also a feeling here of you wanting positive change and being open to endings if it means that the new beginnings have more potential i do think that you've been able to try to surrender yourself to this process but you've also embraced this connection your energy feels a lot more open and inviting of all the radical shifts that seem to be happening because of this connection your person on the other side is very much resisting they're not as open to this connection they don't feel like they understand what's going on and they don't feel as elevated as you in that they're not trying to channel the profound energy associated with this connection i feel that where you two aren't on the same page is that this person's trying to firmly plant their feet on the ground and you're looking up at the sky going wow it's so pretty not realizing that this person's afraid to look up is what it feels like so if we have a better look at your feelings, I do think that your feelings are that there's something about this connection that is kind of forcing you to look at yourself in the mirror. When we have a lover's card reversed, it can also indicate an indecisiveness. Your mind doesn't seem to be made up on what you're supposed to do here. You also feel a very strong attachment to this person with the lovers reversed. And that attachment does seem to be impacting your ability to understand what is in your best interest here. I think that you may unknowingly or subconsciously sacrifice other opportunities in order to make sure that this connection has the best opportunity so it does feel like you guys are saying no to other things in order to make room for this connection 
in the forefront of your mind. I feel like you guys may be in minimal contact with each other based on your person's energy, but that doesn't change the strong feelings that you have over here. There's a depth over here and there's also a strong spark over here as well. I feel like you care a lot already. Um, there is this feeling of you being genuinely interested, having a, an attraction towards this person and feeling the chemistry in this connection. If this is a platonic connection, the Ace of Wands is telling us that you feel as though this connection is a part of your sense of purpose right now. And something about this person makes you feel very excited and like you have something to focus on with this Ace of Wands. You guys may be ticking a lot of dopamine boxes as well, but the Ace of Wands can feel like a new sense of purpose and something that you're really excited about, you get butterflies about and nervousness about. I do think with the death card being your bottom deck energy, there's this overarching feeling here of something good coming out of something bad. So you may have been through a lot of change recently, could be because of this connection, but I feel like you're looking at this connection as the reason why all of that had to happen. Um, it does kind of feel like you're very optimistic about the future of this connection. You feel pretty good about the idea that changes are a helpful thing and you know if it's got to go down in order to come up so be it i still stand by my original analysis of you feeling like you're in a balanced place it does feel like you're at a point where you are surrendering what you don't have in your grasp but you're also having a hard time fully detaching because i do think that your energy is actively seeking this connection um, now, if there has been an ending in this connection, I still feel like you're holding on. I still feel like you're still processing this and emotionally you haven't moved on yet. That's what I feel only for those who resonate with an ending. Your person, on the other hand, is having a hard time moving forward right now. That to say the least, there's a feeling here of frustration, um, confidence issues, not having the energy to be able to invest in what they want to do. They feel like this connection is not where they should be kind of directing their time. This person feels like they need to shift their focus, their energy, their efforts to other areas of their life. And they may be very set on finishing a long-term goal that they have in front of them right now. With this Eight of Pentacles reversed, they do feel like this connection at times is a bit of a distraction and that this is a connection that could unravel some of the progress that they've made in their material world. This will especially resonate if they are a student or if they are an apprentice or somebody who's very career motivated. I feel like this person is also having to kind of focus on other responsibilities that they feel they're up to their neck in. So these aren't just projects that they picked up last week. These are things that they've been investing time, effort, energy into for months, if not years. I do think with the chariot card being reversed here, I'm getting the specific message of this person isn't feeling confident about how they feel about you. When it comes to their feelings specifically, the lack of confidence is obvious with the chariot reversed. I also think that they don't feel it's appropriate for some reason to be able to take action towards you. Um, there's this energy here of their solar plexus chakra light just going really dim. And your solar plexus chakra really sits above your navel, kind of like under your ribs. Um, and it's a really warm yellow light. It's supposed to be a masculine energy of willpower, determination, confidence, a feeling of I'm successful regardless of whether or not you know, whatever the outcome is, but I'm successful from the beginning because of my mindset. So I feel like their light being dim is like this idea of them just not feeling confident in where they stand with you, not feeling confident in pursuing something here. And I do think that it's because they've got their feet firmly planted on this 3D ground. They're not looking up, they're looking straight ahead and they need to focus on making it to that destination straight ahead. Whereas you're looking up the stars, 
you're like, yeah, the road's pretty cool, but have you seen the sky tonight? And this person's like, what sky? Like, I can barely see the road. So with this Four of Swords reversed, I uh, was their bottom deck energy as well. I get this feeling that this person is currently having a hard time processing this connection. They're either avoiding thoughts about it or they're really not kind of putting two and two together. I just feel like they're not going as deep as you. And I do think that this person is in some sort of crisis mode where they're having to just put one foot in front of the other. I'm also hearing from my spiritual team that this person is somebody who just doesn't get deep like that. So I don't think it's that they don't want to. I think it's that they just don't do it. <laughs> they don't do that usually. Um, with the four of swords being reversed here, I do get this energy of a restlessness from them. I feel like their feelings towards this connection is that either it needs to slow down or it just it needs to go slowly. I think of a four of swords reversed as somebody who's slowly reanimating because they've come out of a period of rest or because they don't have a lot to give right now. So they need to take it easy. Kind of like um, somebody who's undergone incredible surgery and they're in rehab right now. So this person feels like they're the connections in rehab mode. They just need to slowly flex muscles. They're taking things very slowly with you. Um, I do feel like this person has other commitments, my group threes. I think you guys would know, but if you're asking about somebody who you don't know very well, let's just have a quick look at what those commitments could be. What are group three's person's commitments? We have the death card reverse, the ace of swords, judgment. I feel like this person is going through a lot. Like you both are, to be fair, but on their end, like we've got Pluto here twice, Scorpio here twice. This strong energy of unresolved issues from their past that they need to sort out. I don't think they have the emotional capacity that you're seeking right now. I think that this person may have accidentally bitten off more than they can chew in this connection. If they've asked for space, I really think that they need it. With the Ace of Swords being here, they're probably doing the bare minimum just to make sure that they're being pleasant with you. But I feel like there's a lot going on in the behind the scenes with this person. Pluto energy in retrograde. I think Pluto is in retrograde at the moment, actually, until November or October. Pluto retrograde seems to be really hitting this person. And if you're seeing this when I haven't, you know, a while after I've posted it, um, then this message could still impact you. I definitely recommend you have a look at what the effects of Pluto retrograde can do. Um, because there is this energy here of this person struggling to process emotions first and foremost, but also big life events. And I think that's because there's a lot happening at once in this person's life. So I'm hearing that kiss analogy, keep it simple, stupid. I feel like this person is just trying to keep their life simple right now. They don't want to take on too much. They don't want to feel too much. They want, don't want to be in over their heads when it comes to their emotions. And they don't want to feel like um, they're not showing up for themselves first and foremost. I feel like this is somebody who is flying under the radar where they can, when they can, though. They may be avoiding intimate conversations with a lot of loved ones in their life. If this is a platonic connection and you're a family member, you're not the only one who they're avoiding. This is somebody who I feel would prefer a text every now and then rather than an in-depth phone call. They're spending a lot of time isolating and it's not just you. I just feel like this person's running from some pretty big stuff. So that's how they're feeling. That's where you're at. I definitely don't think you guys are on the same page. You are not feeling the same way. So let's close your reading by getting some advice. Spirit, what advice do you have for group three? For my group threes. What advice would you give my viewer? For you, the viewer, we've got the Three of Swords and we have the King of Wands, both reversed. What advice would you give their person, Spirit? What advice would you give Group Three's person? We have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. 
We have the Ace of Swords again. So the universe and spirit and this person's spiritual team are telling your person to communicate. They really want your person to work up the strength to be more present in their life. Now, this person may be going through a lot. So I think that it's really important that they slowly reanimate and that they slowly start to have important conversations with the people in their life. Spirit is encouraging this person to speak their mind, to speak their truth. Spirit is also encouraging this person to reassess their needs and to reassess the people in their life that they value. I feel like this person's really dropped the ball with some pretty important people in their life. You may be one of them, my viewer, especially if you're a family member or somebody who's known this person for a very long time. If you're a newer person in this person's life, Spirit is encouraging this person to maintain their existing connections. I don't think that this person is in any shape or form to start new connections, whether it's friendship, romance, anything. Um, Spirit is really encouraging this person to just be as... Um, to offer sustenance to existing connections and to be very mindful of what their needs are and what their resources are. This person does not have a lot to give. So Spirit's encouraging them to be very careful about how much they're giving and to be very, um, to make sure that the ones that they love the most know that, to make sure that they're showing up for the people who matter the most. When it comes to you, Spirit's advice with the Three of Swords reversed is to try not to take this personally. I think that no answer is an answer in this case. If there's no growth, there's no sort of development, there is closure in that. I do think the Three of Swords reversed is encouraging you to pay attention to the information you already have and to start making some serious decisions about your future. With the Three of Swords reverse, there are other decisions in other areas of your life that you need to start making and there's actions that you need to start taking. Do not put your life on hold for this connection. You also need to rip the band-aid off and start taking those steps forward in your own journey, doing what you need to do for your own well-being and especially for your own growth. Your healing journey is non-linear. Even if it still hurts, even if it feels fresh, even if you don't have the closure that you need, just focus on stepping forward at a pace that feels comfortable for you. There's no such thing as I'm fixed, I'm healed. We are emotional water beings for a reason. Those, those issues, um, quote unquote, are probably going to be there without a time frame you know and it's not something you can compare to other people either so just doing what feels right but there's a strong emphasis here on focusing on your own growth with the king of wands reversed when it comes to this connection your expectations do need to be lowered i feel like there are times where you're wanting things to happen from a self-serving point of view and it's not to um, say that you're asking for too much but you need to match that reality with it your expectations are that way for a reason but if they don't fit this person's journey you have to accept that and you have to set those expectations elsewhere i really think with the king of wands reversed your growth is being stunted by an aspect of your expectations over this connection either because what you want just can't meet you where you're at when it comes to this person's actions or because of what you're hoping for right now, it just isn't able to happen yet. It's either a timing expectation or a character expectation. This person's character needs to be focused on self and the timing of this connection is as delayed as necessary so as to protect you both on this part of your journey. So your expectations need to be expanded into other people, places, areas of your life because this connection cannot fulfill those needs right now from a growth perspective i feel like you guys are stunting the expansion of your energy by expecting too much from this connection right now so that's what i'm seeing for you my group threes i'm going to take this into your extended reading now where we will have a look at what is happening next we're going to have a look at your next actions, your person's next actions, and the future of this connection. So if the first part of your reading resonated and you want to extend your reading, the link is in the description box as well as the pinned comment. That link takes you to my website if you're new here where I host my extended readings. I do 
um, sell my extended readings individually. You can rent it, you can purchase it, there's, or you could become a member and have access to all the extended readings on my website. I just highly recommend that you double check what you're paying for before you purchase it. Please make sure you know what you're buying. Remember you are group three of my Do They Feel the Same Way reading that I posted in May 2024. Thank you so much group three for all your time, your energy and your support. It's been a pleasure connecting with you today. I appreciate this energy exchange right here on YouTube. If this is where you are leaving us, I wish you peace, prosperity, abundance, happiness, health, wealth, success and joy on your journey ahead. Bye for now. Hi my group fours and welcome to your reading. If you chose this natural agate card or this beautiful glassy looking crystal here, I really think this is glass, but hey, it looks pretty close <laughs> to the natural agate. Um, if you chose either of these objects, then this is going to be your reading. Welcome sweet souls. We're asking spirit, does the person on your mind feel the same way about you? Now to kind of get the answers, we're going to be having a look at your feelings, your person's feelings, and then we're going to get advice. There will be an extended reading. So if the first part of your reading here on YouTube resonates and you wish to extend your reading, the link to your extended will be in the description box as well as the pinned comment. And we'll be focusing more on what is happening next between you and this person. This reading is intended for platonic and romantic connections. So we'll just take it easy and we'll cover both just in case. Now, this card is not a coincidence, sweet, sweet souls. Um, I'm saying sweet, sweet because there's a very sweet energy behind this card. I shuffled this card with the intention of getting an energy about how you feel about the person on your mind. And natural agate is about as sweet as it comes in this deck. There is the heart chakra energy here. There's Venus's influences. There's the number two, which is a symbol of balance and partnership. And then there's all this earthy energy to ground a lot of that warmth. So Venus's energy brings a energy of adoration and of beauty. And then with this heart chakra energy, there's an energy of compassion and energies of love. So I feel like you have very grounded but strong feelings for this person. I think that you see them as a beautiful companion, as somebody who really brings um, a sense of partnership to your life in one capacity at least. But I think that there's also a nurturing energy that you feel for this person. This asana, I'm just going to clarify it with the guidebook. Um, it feels very grounding. It feels like it's the type of asana you would use to, yeah, lotus pose, of course, um, benefits the back and the spinal column. It feels like the kind of pose you would use to get your body into a rested but aligned position. So in terms of the creator's intentions behind this card in her deck, she sees natural agate as a moment to use all of your common sense realizing something and studying the minimal details without becoming anxious it pushes you to use realism and practicality life is made of relationships we must use them to bring water to our mill so you could be feeling that this person was put into your life for a very practical reason you could feel like you and this person work really well together and there could be something that you're hoping to achieve with this connection, some sort of objective or goal that you're working towards, especially if you're not in union or if you're hoping to take things to the next level with this person. The natural agate side of this connection infuses trust in oneself. It is an excellent, it is also excellent for convalescing. The stone helps to become aware of one's own body. And that's the other aspect of the heart chakra. It's the energy of healing through your immune system, through your lungs, through your chest, your breathing. And then the Venus card also makes ourselves aware of, of how we are and of how we look to others. So I do think that this person makes you feel 
at times maybe a little conscious of how you are in this connection and of what you can bring. You may be anxious about whether you are a perfect match at times. That could be a shadow side of this connection just to address kind of all the feelings here. I personally only see very positive vibes from your end, but maybe like a subconscious fear is, am I enough for this person? Am I worthy of this connection? So let's keep that card there. We're going to get some cards out now to have a look at your feelings and your person's feelings. Spirit, what are my viewers' feelings about the person on their mind? What are my group fours feelings about the person on their mind, please, spirit? Group four. We have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. We also have the Three of Pentacles. And the last card is the Seven of Pentacles. At the back of the deck is the Four of Swords reversed. That's just, there we go. It's a little bit better. Okay, having a look at your person's feelings now. How does Group 4's person feel about them, Spirit? How does Group 4's person feel? about them please spirit okay first card i want to take is the page of wands in the upright position they're also showing me the seven of pentacles so you both got the seven of pentacles how does group four's person feel they also want to show me the three of pentacles i'm gonna to have to swap Slide this over a little bit so it all fits. At the back of this beautiful deck is the sun. So there is a mutual feeling here of genuine connection. You and this person are very excited to have each other in your lives. I think that you're a little prone to overthinking. You're coming across as somebody who is maybe a little bit worried about what you bring to this connection and about whether this connection is something that can be sustainable. I think that your connection may at times go through periods where you don't see a lot of progress happening, whether that's because of minimal contact um, through communication or mis minimal contact in the physical realm. You feel like this connection needs more of a push that's where you're coming from. You, with the Four of Swords reversed, you, you feel like this person and the connection needs to kind of slowly reanimate in order for it to be successful long term. You're thinking long term. This person is also thinking long term. When we look at your feelings, I believe that you feel like this is a connection that is on a growth sort of scale. You're in a chapter where the two of you have the opportunity to create something together. A lot of pentacles on your side. So there seems to be this idea of the two of you working together to physically create something. Either that's a sustainable partnership with this two energy and the queen of pentacles, or it could be some sort of project, some sort of um, goal. There is an, a specific objective that you have in mind, and you're still trying to figure out if it's actually possible. You're committed to the process, but you don't seem to be fully committed to the outcome. You seem to be questioning, well, how, how are we gonna do this, really? There's some reservations, and I do think that you, my viewer, are prone to overthinking things. I think that you're the one that gets in your head a little bit and likes to microanalyze the little things you seem to get fixated on the finer details instead of the bigger picture but that doesn't mean that you can't appreciate the vision you both got the seven of pentacles so i do think that when it comes to the positive energies and feelings you are both feeling the same way about each other you see this person with the seven of pentacles here as somebody who you have potential to create something long term and sustainable with you believe that this is a connection that could be mutually gratifying when it comes to growth 
and when it comes to long-term success. You already feel like the two of you have started something here and you have every intention of finishing it. But you're very aware of the fact that it's going to take time and that it is about quality, um, not quantity. So you're trying to kind of take it slowly with the idea of putting in a quality amount of effort. So this could have to do with communication too. Maybe y'all don't communicate all the time, but when you do, you put a lot of effort into those conversations. Maybe you don't see each other all the time, but when you do see each other, it's quality interactions, really getting that bonding time, that one-on-one -on -one time. Speaking of one-on-one -on -one time, you also have the three of pentacles here. So it does feel like you and this person are currently working on something together, or there could be a plan in place to work on something together. The three of pentacles is an energy of collaboration, of admiration. I think you really look up to this person, but not in an unreasonable way. You're not putting them on a pedestal. You're admiring their qualities you're admiring their skills you're admiring who they are as a personality i think that you are a fan of this person but it doesn't come across as again like they're they're an idol or they're un inhuman they're like this godly figure it's coming across as the opposite actually this person is somebody who you really see as a mutual kind of like you you kind of see qualities in them that you also possess is what that also feels like and where you have deficits they have positives so there's this beautiful energy here of we can make something out of this if this is a platonic connection i do feel like you and this person are making plans to spend more time together to create something together or to do shared interests together this person could be trying to teach you something they could be helping you out with something um even if this is a romantic connection, I think that the two of you have a very strong platonic undertone where there is this energy of like friendship that keeps your romance alive. I do think with the Queen of Pentacles being reversed for all of you, your feelings for this person are that they, you don't want to rely on them too much. You may feel that there is still an element here in which you need to maintain a sense of independence you don't want to feel too dependent on this person and you want to make sure that when they come to you, it's not from a place of desperation or dependency. You want to feel needed, but you also want to know that you each have each other's kind of own space to continue working on your other goals or, um, yeah, it feels like goals. Even if you've been in a relationship with this person for a while, I still think the Queen of Pentacles reversed is about maintaining a sense of individual um, success. And there could be concerns about you potentially losing yourself in this connection if it is a newer connection, because you're like, wow, this is somebody that I want to be able to depend on, but I'm scared. It's just too soon yet. That's what that kind of feels like. When we look at your person's feelings, group four, this sun energy is so wholesome. It's so bright. It really radiates as an energy of being seen. I feel like this person really appreciates the energy you bring into their daily life. There's this energy here of, of this person enjoying being able to see you or communicate with you. They light up, they get really giggly and bubbly. There is romance here with this card as well. Um, so let's just talk about romantic connections. This person is very interested in you and it feels like this spark is quite fresh. So if you've known this person for a while, they have a renewed sense of interest in you where there is this sort of chemistry and this undercurrent of tension between the two of you i do pick up on sexual tension for this group but i feel it coming from a very wholesome place of like being very enchanted by your energy this person thinks that you're very funny they love your humor they love the way that you communicate I really see them just like sitting down and being like this humbled presence, this humbled energy in your presence, um, looking up at you. So where you're kind of admiring them, they're adoring you. There is a strong energy here of companionship and kindred energy. So I think that you have qualities that they are really 
valuing they've been seeking this person is definitely somebody who thinks very highly of you and they talk very highly of you too to anybody who's interested they would communicate only positive things about you there's a lot of positive optimistic feelings about this connection they are feeling like this connection is something that can move into the future with you both having the th three of pentacles and the seven of pentacles in very similar placements as well this person is probably more um, excited and optimistic than what you are. You're coming through as somebody who has reservations. They're coming through as somebody who has nothing but ambition. They are very excited about the future with you, about working with you, about um, getting to collaborate with you and build something with you. This person feels quite confident in the idea of quality over quantity and they feel very confident in the idea of patience as well being a helpful tool to this connection i do think that this person is very excited to see you um, especially if there is some sort of physical distance for some of you um, even if there isn't even if you saw them just before you watch this reading they just feel very excited to be around you and i think that this person is quite a grounded person so these feelings do feel very much like a big deal to them where on the surface it may not look like much you know <laughs> on the surface it may look like they're indifferent but internally there's a lot of butterflies there's a lot of like bubbly energy giddy energy giggling energy this person probably thinks you're hilarious but they're giving me the vibe of like they just laugh at everything that you say <laughs> it's really cute so that's what i'm seeing i do think that you and your person feel the same way I am going to close your reading by getting some advice before we look at what is happening next in the extended reading. Spirit, what advice do you have for my viewer when it comes to this connection? What advice do you have for my viewer? I just want to say you guys could be earth signs or fire and earth signs. Because that's Capricorn and Virgo came through really strongly. We have the Five of Swords reversed on your end. We have the Hermit reversed. And the Two of Swords reversed. What advice do you have for their person spirit? What advice do you have for a Group Four's person? We have the Tower. We also have the Strength card. And we have the emperor between the two of you is the three of pentacles again reversed i think when it comes to this connection you may have to really make an effort to make sure that you're continuing to invest time and energy towards each other with the three of pentacles being on both your sides and then here again it's really important that you both prioritize this if this is something you want to grow together it's going to take consistency and it's going to take um hard work in that you can't just expect the two of you to kind of bump into each other you both have to make time you both have to make effort that's a heads up there could be scheduling issues you guys may work at different times or you may be busy at different times so spirit's advice is to plan ahead to make sure that you always have that quality time especially if this is a newer connection if this is a connection that's been in your life for a while, I still think it's important to plan. I also think it's important to be really honest with this person for all of you. I have a feeling that you're not talking about everything that you're thinking about. Look at all these swords. The Hermit card is connected to the planet of Mercury. And although it's a card of wisdom, when it's reversed, it can also be highlighting naivety and false guidance that we are seeking externally instead of validating through our own wisdom and experience. So some of y'all have the tendency to overthink and stress yourself out by getting external advice that is very unhelpful for your situation. I do think you doubt what you know when it comes to this person. And I think that your advice is mostly just confirming that you already have the answers you seek. And sometimes other people's opinions are biased based on their relationship to you or based on their relationship to this person, based on their relationships in general. There is a warning message here of you even just having a casual rant sesh with a friend 
who may be projecting their own bias onto your situation, exacerbating your anxiety instead of helping to remedy how you were feeling. Basically, with the Five of Swords reversed, your advice is to make sure that you're choosing your thoughts wisely and you're choosing communication wisely. I think you're um, forgetting how important information from the source is. So before you look for external validation, communicate with this person and check in with them to see how they're actually feeling or to see what they actually think. Um, you guys may need to walk away from other people or just kind of choose to leave certain conversations if they're unhelpful for you. You may also need to unfollow specific accounts on social media if it's only making your mental health more un. Um, I want to say unstable, but that's so dramatic. Let's just say if it's not contributing helpful thoughts, social media may be exacerbating unhelpful thoughts. With the Two of Swords reverse, Spirit is saying you are exactly where you are meant to be. If you'd feel like you don't have clarity, it's either because you're not focusing on what's in front of you or you're stressing too much about what's to come. So be very present with this connection. Stay in the moment and focus on what's in front of you. Let the situation unfold naturally as long as you are making time and pl um, planning for this connection. You're on the right track. When it comes to this person's energy, they have a lot of masculine energy over here. We've got Leo, we've got Aries twice. We've got Aries actually. Wow. So they're coming through as somebody who really needs to start taking more accountability and responsibility. When it comes to this connection, I feel like they have a lot of desires. They have a lot of plans and they have a lot of things that they want to achieve with you. So they're coming through as somebody that needs to start taking action. Spirit's advice to them is to let things happen the way that they are meant to, even if it feels sudden, unexpected, or dramatic. I think with the tower here, this person may really want things with you to move forward, but they may be holding on to false realities as well. They may be holding on to a lifestyle or a certain way of doing things that they've been doing. And it's no longer helpful for their growth to continue to do things that way. This person could be going through a lot of radical shifts and changes internally as well as externally to their lifestyle. And so Spirit's advice to them is to let things change, let things evolve, let it happen, let it fall apart so that you can start to rebuild from the ground up. This person seems to really handle chaos well. That's where they thrive. They've been wanting this for a while and their strengths are in those moments. They really shine. They are somebody who's very dynamic. They're very resourceful and they have this creative streak that they may not be fully tuned into. I think that this person has an ability to come out of this shift much more stronger, bringing a more confident version of themselves to this connection and also feeling more confident in how they have a future in this connection. They're really stepping into their masculinity over here and proving themselves to themselves and really showing up for you as well. So that's their advice. With the emperor here, they need to just sort of let themselves be this person and they need to make sure that they have that confidence in self first and foremost. So that's what I'm seeing for you, my sweet souls. I'm going to take this into your extended reading now where we will have a look at what's happening next, having a look at your next actions, their next actions and the future of this connection. If you would like to extend your reading with me, the link is in the description box in the pinned comment. That link takes you to my website where I host all my extended readings. So please make sure you click on the right group. Remember your group four of the Do They Feel the Same Way reading that I posted in May 2024. Thank you so much for all of your time, your energy and your support right here on YouTube. If this is where you are leaving us, I wish you peace, love, prosperity, happiness, abundance, health, wealth, success and joy on your journey ahead until we meet again. Bye. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the rock crystal card or the rock crystal crystal, 
and then this is going to be your reading sweet souls i also know this as clear quartz so if you are looking at it going what the heck lorraine that is clear quartz you're not wrong that's how i know it too so let's delve into your reading today sweet souls we're asking spirit does the person on your mind feel the same way as you we're going to be having a look at what your feelings are and what their feelings are and then we're going to get advice there will be an extended reading so if this youtube reading resonates and you want more messages you want more clarity your extended reading is in the description box the link to your extended reading i should say is in the description box and the pinned comment but we'll talk more about that at the end i'm going to put this piece of paper to the side for now now sweet souls this card was shuffled with the intention of telling me a little bit more about what your feelings for this person are and i can see with rock crystal here that this is somebody that you have been spending a lot of time either thinking about or trying to get to know better you seem to be seeking specific answers about this person and you may be using social media to get more answers you may be using friends to get more answers but there is this feeling here of trying to understand more about where this person's head is at so that you can figure out what you need to do moving forward there is a desire here to communicate with this person if you're not in communication i feel like you're waiting to hear from them or to hear back from them if you are in communication i feel like you're still waiting to hear what they have to say next there is this feeling of excitement when you think about this person but there's also this feeling of trying to figure out how this connection is moving forward and the number on this card makes me think that you're trying to prepare for a change in this connection if we have a look at the guidebook and this beautiful card i just want to double check what the asana pose on this card is about so down here we have this asana pose which is called the lion pose and the benefits of this is to alleviate tension in your chest and in your face so the creator of this deck talks about this card having a message of reaching a certain point in your personal evolution where you no longer have fear of discovering the darker aspects of your nature you know that you're a unique individual and you love every part of yourselves so this card can be about placing value on your potential and taking care of your weak points this rock crystal gives you a pure and illuminated thought of self so in terms of how that helps with your feelings for this person i think that there could be questions here about where this person how this person sees you you may be trying to get a better understanding of whether they can accept you for who you are and whether they're being authentic with you in return as well let's have a look at your feelings now with tarot Sorry, there are a few cards in this deck that are flipped over and it was the two of cups and the lovers card too so that's wild Spirit, for my group fives what are their feelings about the person on their mind group five please spirit what are their feelings about the person on their mind we have the seven of cups coming out upright the group five's feelings about the person on the mind please spirit we have the two of swords and the hanged man reversed at the back of your deck let's move that down a little bit so we can fit everything in can we have a look at their person's feelings now please spirit what are this person's feelings for my viewer what are this person's feelings for my viewer spirit okay we have the ten of wands coming out reversed what are this person's feelings for my viewer and we have the shadow work card coming out reversed at the back of the deck is the high priestess let me just make sure everything's in frame okay that's pretty good 
yeah I feel like if I'm gonna touch it <laughs> if I touch it I might make it worse so we'll just leave it as it is so here's the thing when we have a look at your feelings for one another I feel like you're both at a place where this connection has a lot of unknowns there is a feeling of protecting oneself on both sides and I do feel like you and this person may feel the same way when it comes to confusion this person is really trying to make sure that they don't take on too much right now and this connection at times feels like it expects too much from them energetically they do feel closed off and they also feel like they're in a passive energy where they're trying not to do anything they're just trying to wait and see what happens based on what they've already done so with your energy in terms of your feelings i do think with these two cards all three of them to be fair you're probably feeling very confused about this connection about where you stand about how this person sees you i really think with the hanged man reversed here there could even be an obsessiveness to these thoughts you may be really spending a lot of time um, trying to understand this person's feelings and this could be the you know third or fourth tarot reading you've had on this person trying to really have a look at how they feel about you recently i do think with the hanged man being reversed um you feel like your feelings about this person do seem to be a little bit skewed from reality you may feel like you don't have enough information to really understand how you feel about them you may feel at times a very strong almost magnetic attraction towards this person and then there may be times where you feel like your feelings for this person are detached and you know you, you can't afford to to really ruminate over the depths i think there is a desire to go deeper in this connection but there is also an awareness here that they're just not giving you enough clarity now the seven of cups also tells me that aside from confusion you may feel like this connection is one of the many things that you could or should be investing your emotions into in terms of how you feel about this person you may feel like you need to kind of come to an understanding or a, a decision about whether or not to continue investing emotional um, energy into this person i think that you feel confused because you don't know if it's worth your time to really explore your feelings any further but you also feel like you're already in too deep with that hanged man reverse so i do think that you may have other people that you're considering investing emotionally into or you may assume that your person is also splitting their time and their emotions with other people with the two of swords here it's clear that you're trying to come to some sort of decision you're trying to weigh up the facts the information that you have and you feel like you need to decide very soon for your own mental health and for your own journey you have to make a decision about this connection you're trying to weigh up logic with intuition because you're not getting a lot of factual information here they on the other hand feel like this connection is kind of more of a illusion i think that this person sees you and this connection as a bit of a mystery and they feel like this connection is something that they have to just sort of let happen under the surface so i do think that a part of this person is trying to release this connection with the ten of wands reversed and the shadow work card being here they feel like this connection triggers them and they feel like this connection makes them uncomfortable in some way and while they want to work through these things they also don't have a lot of capacity right now they can't really give you everything that they have right now this person is in a very feminine energy of trying to just see what happens and letting things unfold naturally as it is meant to i do see that this person feels like you and this connection are at times a lot to take on and so they feel like they need to unburden themselves and release certain expectations and they're hoping that by kind of pulling back their energy you're getting the hint that they aren't as available as you may expect them to be i do feel like this person is working with subtlety 
I don't think that they're doing anything bold. There's um, no sort of clarity over here. They are really focusing on subtlety and they do feel like it's in their best interest to just sort of disengage. They seem to be really trying to just sort of let things happen as they are meant to without them doing anything. I think with the shadow work card being reversed, this person may feel like this connection pulls certain insecurities out of them and makes them feel disempowered. They do feel like this is a connection that could be taboo as well. And so I get this overall feeling like they are trying not to make the situation worse with you. They do feel like this connection could have offended other people or could have given other people the wrong impression. It almost feels like they're in hiding over here, especially with the veil and the closed eyes on this card. It feels like they're in hiding. I do think that this person feels like this is a connection that may need to be kept secret from other people or that they may need to be very careful about what they say to other people about you. So they're not giving a lot away on their end, to be honest. There is a feeling here of trying to shut things down before things get out of hand with you. Whereas on your side, you're feeling this as a lot of mixed signals, very, a lot of confusion. I'm really curious to see what this person's intentions are in the extended reading, because it does feel like they're, to say the very least, like leading you on. And I don't think that they realize like how bad this is. I think that they are just trying to take a hands-off approach, not accept too much accountability and also save themselves from a burning house. That's what this feels like. I can empathize with the fact that they don't have a lot of capacity, but I also think that they're really just trying to kind of take things slow and they're also choosing to only see things from their perspective. And so I can understand why you, the viewer, are in this position that you're in where you're like, well, what the heck is going on? You both have Neptunian influences. So in some capacity, you both feel the same way in that respect. Like you both feel confused. You both feel uncertain. But I don't think you're on the same page when it comes to expectations where you're almost at an ultimatum where you're trying to really weigh up your options here. This person is like, whatever will be, will be. So where you push, they let go. And instead of there being a tug of war, they surrender. That's what this really feels like. So let's get some advice now. I'm going to break this down by getting advice for you and getting advice for your person. And this will help us understand what is in your best interests individually when it comes to this connection. So Spirit, what advice do you have for my viewer? Group 5. What advice do you have for my viewer, Spirit? We have the full card coming out reversed. We also have the Three of Swords. Okay. What advice do you have for their person, Spirit? We have the tower coming out upright and we also have the world card. Between the two of you, we have the eight of pentacles reversed. So I do feel like this is a connection that is probably not worth investing any more time into. With the eight of pentacles reversed, there is a feeling here of the two of you needing to understand how your effort isn't leading to the results that you expect. You may feel like you're just wasting time. You're wasting resources at this stage. With the Eight of Pentacles reversed, at the very least, you both need to reassess what's happening in the connection, what is tangibly being gained by the amount of effort that you're putting in. And I do think that you need to rethink what you're doing here because it is not helpful. So on your end of things, my viewer... I do think with the full card coming out reverse, Spirit is saying, really think about whether your version of reality is actually in line with what is happening. Because there is this feeling here of naivety and a little bit of foolishness impacting your ability to see things for what they are. I do think that this is a connection that has an energy of baggage and you don't seem to be receiving a fresh start like there's no closure here 
there is the start of the major arcana and the end of the major arcana in both your advices in where you may be really trying to cultivate a brand new beginning for yourself it doesn't seem like you're going to get the closure that you need in order for that to happen so at some point you have to assess what choices you can make based on the information that you have to help yourself grow from here and with the three of swords coming out for you i think it's time to make a decision that is best for you regardless of how difficult it is or how negatively it impacts this person growth can only come from accepting things for what they are at this point and making those decisions based on what is best for you the three of swords is talking about a loss and a separation but for the full card to be here reversed, I think this is more about accepting the truth for what it is and just moving forward based on what you have. Don't delay a new beginning any longer for yourself because you're expecting this person to explain things or to come in and do something out of character. I really don't think that's going to happen. On your person's side, spirit's advice is, well, honestly, they just need to get there. They need to get their ish together. The world card is talking about this person tying up loose ends and them really needing to put an end to something once and for all. I feel like this is somebody that doesn't like confrontation or that avoids the hard sort of work. And a lot of this hard work is internal. They are in denial about something and they need to confront it once and for all. In order for things to really end once and for all, this person has a tower moment coming to them. Because they have avoided and they've denied, the inevitable is happening. Out of their control, radical shifts, sudden changes, harsh realities. The tower can only be destroyed if it wasn't stable to begin with. So this person is going to be forced to confront their instabilities from the inside out. Anything that they've been holding on to that has been self-sabotaging or destructive and unhelpful is going to be torn apart. Their advice is to go with that change. Let it happen. Very much giving Tame Impala, let it happen. Um, because the more they resist, the more catastrophic it will be. This chaos is essential in order to rebuild in a better way. When it comes to rebuilding, Spirit's advice to this person is to do the hard work. I feel like there's a karmic cycle being closed in this person's life, and unless they are paying attention to the lesson, they're going to repeat the cycles again and again and again. The world card gives them an opportunity to reflect and retrospect on how far they've come, on what they've learned, and on how to make sure that they don't repeat those past mistakes. So Spirit's encouraging this person to learn from their past mistakes so that this doesn't happen again. And that is the advice that's in their best interest. I feel like Spirit is encouraging this person to end this connection once and for all. And I feel like Spirit is encouraging you to not expect that closure. I think that this is a connection that does seem to be going through an ending where you both need to start thinking about how you can put yourselves first moving forward. But that is what I'm seeing for you, my group fives. I'm going to take this into the extended now where we will get more confirmation about the next chapter here. So we're going to have a look at what is happening next between you and this person we're going to confirm what your next actions will be what their next actions will be and what the future of this connection is so if you need any more confirmation if you want that clarity if you want those additional messages the link to your extended extended reading is in the description box as well as the pinned comment below that link does take you to my website group fives where i host all my extended readings so please make sure that you click on the right group. Remember your group five of the Do They Feel the Same Way reading that I posted in May 2024. Thank you so much for all of your support right here on YouTube. I appreciate this energy exchange. It's always a pleasure to read for you. And thank you for being here. If you enjoyed this video, consider joining the fam. If you're not already subscribed, do give it a like or interact in some way. It does help boost the algorithm. And if this is where you are leaving us, thank you so much for being here. I wish you peace, prosperity, abundance, happiness, health, wealth, success, and joy on your journey ahead until our paths cross again. Bye.